here's the thing. We, it, mm-hmm. it, it's creepy. It's creepy. It is creepy, it is but it's creepy. tough to get over as a as a Christian. It's it's difficult to overcome. But that. if you did have the conversion, you know That's it. Great. Can I tell yeah, you something? Yeah. Look at the crap you, you did. I mean, nothing to do with Satanism, me but I mean, you you've done probably worse. Let me tell you something. Beck was, no matter how much I beg and pleaded, he was never at a satanic altar. <laughs> and I'll never forgive him for that. That's because he was too evil for the satanic uh, yeah, altar. Look, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Um, personally... I think I can see dirt bags coming a thousand miles away where others can't because I was a dirt bag. And so you're like, oh, yeah, that might work on other people, not me, because I mastered that one. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, it, it, you know, if, if you have, if you've bottomed out and, you know, you were like, yeah, I really did some horrible things, and now, you know, I get it, it's fine. If you're at a satanic altar, you know, that's... That, that's a couple steps beyond witchcraft, dabbling in witchcraft. Is it just me? No, it's creepy. Do you have any misgivings about O'Donnell as a candidate? Oh, gosh. Look, um, you know, it's it really something when Bill Maher becomes the vanguard of religion in America, isn't it? You know, I mean, welcome to the silly season. Look, uh, you know, you, you asked me about about last weekend, and, and, you know, I don't think it was about me. I don't think Delaware's about Christine O'Donnell. I don't think Alaska's about Joe Miller as much as it's about the message. And I, I know there'll be this nitpicking and attempts to take things out of context. Certainly she has some explaining to do about that mm-hmm. to her voters in Delaware. But at the end of the day, what's bringing people out, and I think what's creating a momentum for what could be real change in America is that the American people are, are tired of the borrowing, the spending, the bailouts, and the takeovers, and they're just looking for men and women that are willing to stand up and be counted yeah. and take on the establishment. just want to ask you quickly, this, this new tape in which she said on the, the, the TV show Politically Incorrect in 1999 that she dabbled in witchcraft, how damaging is that? Well, you know, in southern Delaware, where there are a lot of church-going people, they're probably going to want to know what was that all about. And again, she, she, she said it on television uh, when she went on the, on the Bill Maher show. And I, my, my view is she can't simply ignore it. She's got to deal with it and explain it and put it in its most sympathetic light and move on. But she can't simply say, oh, these are unfactual and not true and just ignore them. Uh, for the, go to my website and ignore them. I don't think the people of Delaware have or are accepting that as a reasonable explanation. And until they do, they're going to be resistant to hearing the bigger, broader, more important message. It was a good she high school. school. Was a panic all day, was, yeah, she, she had a picnic, a midnight picnic at a satanic altar. Just a little blood around. Yeah, there was a little Just blood a little and everything. Bit. So she, uh... Well, you know, usually I like to say it happens. I mean, this is just in a new <laughs> I'm a live and let live kind of guy, but this is out there even for me. She, uh... A, so, a little so bit of blood. Bill Maher rolled that out on his <laughs> wow. show Friday night. But it's like a chicken or something. Yeah. yeah I know. I'm not, yeah. yeah you're getting emails wow. from PETA. It's just a chicken. Uh, so Christine O'Donnell, <laughs> Christine O'Donnell yesterday was at that barbecue yeah. that forced her to skip the Sunday show. Yeah. She responded to the uh, witchcraft story. Yeah. That witchcraft comment on Bill Maher. I was in high school. <laughs> How many of you didn't hang out with questionable folks in high school? But no, it, there's been no witchcraft if there was, Carl Rove would be a supporter now. <laughs> oh, that's a good line. That's a good I'm line. sorry, that's a yeah. good line. <laughs> I hung out with quite yeah, I hung out with questionable people in high school, but not witches and warlocks. <laughs> I missed that. no sacrifice. Holy cow. But as you said at the top of the show, in seriousness, this is just a punchline. Yeah. It's there's no implications for it. I'm her. telling you, yes. I like her response there. This woman is she's Could, couldn't it be good for her? She, she learned could get us a me lot. versus Oh, it's great for her. Things. She so learned a lot. Thank you. That's very much. Very much. Wow. Look who's fight, back. By the way. Really quickly, if she doesn't come on Morning Joe, we're going to show clips of Scarborough Country every day. <laughs> oh, wait. She's already said she'd come here. I think the reality here is that she this adds to an aura of oddness um, in this case. She seems to have decided not to answer a bunch of questions about her be- past and background, to focus on deficits or spending or other things. These things are irrelevant. But I think generally in politics that people don't trust your views on deficits or spending until they trust you.
Um, and she hasn't crossed that hurdle yet with the voters of, of Delaware. It certainly indicates what the Republican mood is. They want to support pure candidates, ideologically pure candidates, even if they're not electable. I don't think that's necessarily good for Republican control of the Senate. Um, and it doesn't change the fact of politics, which is bad candidates can lose, even in, if they're riding waves in a wave election.